Hello student, welcome back and today we are going to learn green technology and life. Yes. So um, the thing is we want to reduce carbon footprint. As I mentioned, carbon is carbon dioxide is increasing and it causes global warming and global warming causes natural disaster like flood. So there are more and more disaster because there are more and more people producing carbon dioxide. Okay. So what are so it will produce global warming, huh? Uh, not to be confused with um, the thinning of ozone layer. Sometimes it's not very confused. No, thinning as ozone layer and global warming. Okay, now you must know uh, global warming is caused by carbon dioxide. Thinning of ozone layer, you know the ozone layer right up there, okay, is caused by CFC, chlorofluorocarbon. So it's totally two different things. Uh. Some people say, uh, I asked my student, if carbon, CO carbon dioxide is too much, then what will happen? They will say thinning of ozone layer. Dang, wrong. If I ask, uh, if CFC too much, what will happen? Some student will say, uh, global warming. Dang, wrong. Okay. So that there is a totally two different thing that you you need to realize. Okay. So there are uh, moving forward. Okay. Carbon footprint is increase of carbon lah. Huh? Okay. Let's see. Is it and it will cause global warming, especially carbon dioxide. So it's like uh, they, they, they say carbon footprint because when you walk that time, your behind got the footprint. So same like carbon dioxide. After you use, there is, you left, you throw away the carbon dioxide already. It's still there. You cannot see it, but it's there. Okay. So where, for example, from water emission, fuel, electric, transport, gas, carbon dioxide, recycling waste. So all of these things actually are producing carbon footprint. Okay. Mm, yeah. Oh, finish already. So maybe we can do some um, exercise. So basically, I, I think the, mo the most of the exercise is about <laughs> karangan, you know. Like up there is permahaman, down there is like uh, um, what are the ways you can overcome. Okay, so this topic is very good. Huh? You can use it for science, for English, and for Malay because usually, I see what they ask. They are, you ask penjemaran, right? It's a hot topic. So uh, make sure you are very good in this topic. Uh, it's, it's really worth to learn this topic huh? because when you, that, let's say the question asks you about penjemaran. So you can say about NGV vehicle. You can say about greenhouse techno uh, green, uh, green technology and so on. And uh, don't say the question asked in BM essay come up and then you scratch your head huh? how to write penjemaran? i don't know how to write i already tell you uh, the essay might come out penjemaran. okay every year also might come out your exam essay will always come out something that is popular in malaysia for example you know like in malaysia maybe malaysia food cuti cuti malaysia uh accident case dada you see your rumors also all all, uh, all the common thing that's happening in malaysia so sad jalan, traffic jam, and uh, one of the very famous questions in the essay is about pollution in terms of BM and BI essay also. So learn this chapter properly, it will help in your um, essay. Okay, read the extract below. Green technology, <laughs> like a Malay question. No, green technology practice proposed by the National Green Technology Policy has have been infused in lesson at school. Ha, huh? membuat campaign. The awareness of environment sustainability through green technology should be inculcated from young. So from young, we want to teach them about green technology. Based on the extract, what do we mean by green technology? So we can see that green technology is the what is the way to conserve the environment and nature, minimizing and reducing negative effect. Okay, so to conserve. By using technology, product, equipment to conserve the environment and nature. Okay, um, product I don't know like Maybe you're talking about good car or some train. A new product or equipment to conserve the environment. Conserve means to use properly, huh? To maintain it. We don't want to use it. Finish, huh? To conserve it. Uh, there's two word, right? One is preserve. Another one is to conserve, to use it in a meaningful way and minimizing and reducing the negative effect. Okay, that's a conservation. And another one is preservating, to make sure the thing still lasts. Okay, 
um, sometimes you can see it's a bit um, overlap lah, but preserve is more like you know preservation to make it longer conserve is more like use it wisely state the four pillars of national green technology policy so what are the four pillars okay so it will be energy what energy environment economy and social so these are the four pillars of national green technology policy so when we're talking about uh, policy like the step and the thing that we should do uh, what to do if something happens so these are the so we must take consideration not only to save energy if you cannot generate economy uh, no point uh, if you say i want to save the tree um yeah i can save the tree by killing all human that is one of way one of the way to save the tree so no uh, we, we need to consider not only energy we want to consider the environment is good for the environment we want to con consider the economy we want to, we want to make sure people got their job we want to make sure that the country is good and still can earn money also and one more thing we want to consider when we are making policy is the social factor um we are we didn't go really deep into this lah um, social factor maybe um i don't know maybe they are talking about when we are talking about green technology maybe is affordable for the rich people and is also affordable for the poor people so these are some of the thing that we want to consider when we want to make a policy so of course this again is a whole new class if um, i got take my master and uh, one of it is teaching about how to education policy then it's very nice uh, to learn how to the policy why a policy come up and uh, and it can solve many problems with a policy if you don't have policy then uh, many problems might happen so when you go to your school your school got policy and it's, it, it's not a law but it's a thing that should do and something happen what should we do there's a policy okay we are not going too, man, too much into that it's very nice again these are the things that we want to consider in the policy the statement below explain energy efficiency energy efficiency is use less energy to carry out work or higher rate without affecting the production and the outcome so there are something they are more energy efficient efficient something is not for example i can say the thing is energy efficient maybe i can say uh let's say i take two car one is honda city one is vira both car go to uh pula pinang from kuala lumpur go to pula pinang and one thing i notice is honda city i need for to move from KL to Penang is 400 km, I need to pay maybe 40 ringgit of petrol. For a Vira, Proton Vira, old model, I need to use maybe 60 ringgit or let's say 50 ringgit. Lah, huh? Usually, if you got car, you know, lah, 50 ringgit from Kuala Lumpur to Penang. But don't you feel weird? Like, I got two car, both car can sit five people, but one car only use 40 ringgit of petrol. Another car use 50 ringgit petrol, which is Proton Vira O model. So I can say that Honda City energy use is more efficient than Proton Vira because Proton Vira use much um, oil in order to reach the same distance. So this is called energy efficiency. That's why when we want to buy car, there are things that we want to consider. Not only the car is um you see comfortable one of the thing is the petrol consumption some people say i want to save money so i buy a cheaper car but maybe when you buy a cheaper car eventually the cheaper car like second hand car it take more petrol so you every day also you are paying the more money for the petrol and it is equivalent to you buy a honda city for example so when you want to buy a car you one thing you might consider is the petrol consumption i am very petrol consumption not because uh not because I like the car, but because I want to save money. Yeah. So, so no money to, no money to buy petrol. Yeah. So I need to consider all these things, you know. But nowadays, no lah. Huh? So, so, so many students so rich. Based on the statement above, state the importance of energy efficiency in everyday life. I think this is a uh, many answer you can write. Don't just copy the textbook lah. Huh? You need the talk to you say save energy. Whatever. So up to you. Huh? This is like karangan question. Why? Mengapakah penting untuk menggunakan tenaga dengan cara yang efisien? 
There's so many answer you can write, okay? For me, uh, no people that is no money. Uh. That's why I do YouTube video. Maybe can earn 50 cents. So maybe I would say, can save money, lah, save cost. What are, of course, to save money. Lah. <laughs> maybe Chinese people, uh, Chinese is every day is about money. Save money and uh, maybe I can say, uh, maybe for students, I say, to protect the environment. Huh? So uh, maybe you can say to protect the environment. To protect environment. And uh, to avoid, to avoid uh, wastage. Anything lah, huh? anything uh, you can, uh, as long as it's reasonable. Uh, you don't say because, uh, uh, I, I, I don't know lah, huh? because, because your mother say so. Then you cannot say lah, huh? the answer is not relevant. It must be, your answer must be something that is uh, relevant. Give an energy efficient practice that you can carry out at home. Explain your answer give an energy efficiency that you can so this also a back question you can see the brain obviously this brain is asking us to use the brain why or not um energy efficient practice that you can do at home so what you can do at home don't just see the the book what can you do at home what can you do at home you think lah huh? how can you save money so maybe you say switch off the light if not in use switch off the fan I put air con uh, air conditioner if not in use up to you lah you don't need to copy okay the problem is that students just copy the answer they don't know how to do exam don't copy use your own word okay use your own word um off the fan if you don't use it uh off the water if you don't off the tap if you don't want to use it off the toilet so, so many things you can say uh, or maybe you, you want to say uh, practice at home. I cannot say train uh, because here say at home. Uh. Our home don't have train. Uh. So uh, I don't know. Uh, maybe play less game. Uh, less game. Then something like that. Uh. But it must be reasonable again. Uh. Uh, reasonable. Uh. Icon of the electric. Okay. Of electric will conserve a lot of uh, the energy. The reason is most energy from Malaysia is not come from hydroelectric. You know? If I'm not mistaken, 60% of Malaysia energy come from burning of coal. Means burn, uh, the fire burn to move the turbine, then you can get your electric. So the more electric that you use, the more coal that need to burn in order to get the energy. So it's not renewable energy and it's 60% is quite high, you know. 60% is quite high. So safe energy. But for me, the main motive is to save money lah. You know, aircon is very expensive also, you know. Um, I got calculate one day, you turn, one night uh, you turn aircon, like the whole night it will be maybe 2 ringgit. Maybe extra 2 ringgit. Che, 2 ringgit only ma. 2 ringgit, 20, 10 days is 20 ringgit. 1 month, 30 days is 60 ringgit ah. Uh. Then your mother will say, why the electric bill so expensive again? Then, then you say it's not you, huh? It's, your daddy used the icon, your brother used the icon, but not you. The following statement is pinned at the school notice board. Uh -huh. In order to, in order to enable holistic implementation of green technology practice, several factors have been created for more direct and focus on implementation. What? Wait, uh, let me read again. Uh. Sometimes I don't know what I'm reading. Holistic implementation of green technology practice. Okay, Miss, uh, they are talking about uh, green technology Holistic means the whole lah, huh? a, a more proper, a more whole have been um, created to focus on implement. So maybe, so the school say they want to do something um, to implement green technology. Okay, Chen lai jiang lah, huh? the school want to implement green technology maybe through education. Okay, something like that. Because it pin at the school naughty boss. State three sector found in green technology. What are the sector found in green technology? So of course the main one will be what the transport law, correct or not? Transport, energy sector, and maybe we can say uh the wastewater management. Wastewater management. So these are the few factor 
sector found in green technology okay you want to use transport maybe you we, we malaysia stop using car using tesla car energy maybe we don't want to, want to use less burning of coal maybe use more hydroelectric or maybe want to use uh nuclear energy actually i i support uh, use nuclear energy a lot of malaysian they don't support but um, it can save a lot of money and it can generate the country economy but you don't put near the earth don't make it explode huh? you put it far 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 away from other people house then you do it so when the thing explode no people will die um it's a risk la. that's why don't make it explode la, huh? use it wisely like the japan also they are using nuclear reactor but it explode uh, that one is due to tsunami huh? people mismanage it and they calculate wrongly yeah huh? If you if you properly they actually got two they got a safety power uh, in case something happened they got a generator to generate the water pump so that the japan uh, nuclear reactor won't explode but when the tsunami hit there's no electric no electric never mind they got one backup electric but their backup electric they put on the floor so when tsunami come the water flood the the floor so the generator also spoil so there's no electric to cool down the nuclear reactor and then the nuclear reactor explode but the good thing is no people die uh, even in the explosion of um, japan nuclear reactor if i'm not mistaken no people die so this they well manage the thing um uh hopefully when malaysia do this also be well managed in case it explode ho hopefully no people will die lah uh, and do it properly lah uh. now i think they are smarter already they build the reactor up okay they don't want to build on the floor right eh? build up so the floor come in the your reactor still up there okay so it is still safe explain e sector maintain a mention in 3a okay so just now i think i already mentioned okay for the energy sector we want to use energy free though um lesser of fossil fuel maybe it, uh, using uh hydroelectric or more more renewable energy la. but I, I don't uh, I, I must say i don't want to use enough green technology i say i don't want to use nuclear reaction because nuclear reaction also produce a lot of carbon footprint but maybe you can say use uh, uh what we call it biofuel or oh, the one is for transport okay biofuel and for energy maybe you can use renewable en energy like solar energy and wastewater management uh maybe we can say um lesser decomposing of uh water okay convert the water into something useful okay manage the water properly uh, water also is made as a problem so sometimes malaysia also um though it's a rainforest but malaysia also got water problem because of uh pollution and the management of water and uh, the energy loss in terms to produce good water photo one show a social scientific issue mm -hmm. so i think i will stop until here lah, huh, for this video and i'm continuing this in the next and following video so i see you again soon thank you and bye bye